if they'll have a chance against Penn State January 2nd, 5 o'clock Eastern time from the most picturesque place in college football, Rose Bowl. We'll look forward to seeing the Utes and Penn State will be there on January 2nd for that. Please be joined by the head coach of the Utes, Kyle Whittingham. Kyle, uh, some of the guys have said, first of all, we wanted to thank you for giving us something to talk about today. Had you not won the Pac-12, everything would have been pretty cut and dry. What was the moment where things changed on Friday night? You guys uh, got behind 17-3. USC seemed to be rolling, and from that point forward, it was just like boot to the face after that. Yeah, I would say the, the real turning point was when we took over uh, second quarter, minute and 40-ish to go in the half, and we executed a perfect two-minute drive and got in the end zone to tie it up at halftime, and that gave us all kinds of momentum going into the half, and, and uh, our kids were uh, very confident in that. Coach, uh, how how tough is your quarterback? I mean, we saw that dude get uh, drilled, his helmet fly off, and he's like, still got pigskin. I ain't worried about it. I mean, obviously you get him as a transfer and then bring him to your culture. I mean, how cool was the, how cool was this kid? And how tough is he? He is tough as nails. And and as you mentioned, he get you know he took that hit and jumped up smiling. I mean, he had a big smile on his face. And, and uh, he is our leader. There's no doubt about that. He's been uh, he was instrumental for our success. Uh, you know, last two years and can't say enough good things about it. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Uh, we were having a conversation in the studio actually just last night as we watched you guys play. And the question came up, what makes somebody want to go to Utah? Outside of yourself, was probably one of the most underrated coaches in college football. What would you say would be one of the top couple of things that would make somebody want to come play for Utah? Well, I'd say, first of all, our culture. We have a great culture here at the University of Utah. Uh, players love each other, get along with each other. Uh, I believe we're the most diverse team in America. We're almost exactly one-third African-American, one-third Caucasian, one-third Polynesian. And I don't believe anyone in the country has that blend of players to that degree. Um, also, the, it's beautiful up here. Salt Lake City is a beautiful setting up here in the Rocky Mountains, uh, you know, where the we're uh, us and the Jazz, the only show in town uh, up here in Salt Lake. And, Great fan support, been sold out for 10 straight years at Rice Eccles Stadium. And uh, we just, you know, a lot going for us. Plus, you're going to win a bunch of games if you come here. Also, Coach, uh, sneaky good Mexican food scene in Salt Lake City as well <laughs> in Utah. It's actually outstanding. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you about this year's team in particular because you guys have faced a lot of adversity this year. You had a tough loss late on the road at Florida week one. Key injuries to, to key players this season. And Keithy, Kincaid for a little bit, both tight ends. Tavian Thomas at running back as well. And you found yourself down by 14 points both times you played USC this year, yet found a way to come back. What is it that makes your squad so resilient? Well, first of all, they, they handle adversity. I mean, we talk about that all the time as far as uh, not uh, flinching, uh, you know, just continue to play through whatever comes your way. Uh, we have a, a lot of, a great deal of confidence on this fo football team and a, and a real belief. We believe in each other. We believe in our process. We believe in the coaches. Coach, coaches believe in the players. So I just think we have a, uh, a lot of positive mojo going on in our program. And, and uh, our guys, there's no doubt about it, there's no quit in them at all. Coach, the Pac-12 on Selection Day has is, is often been a, been a little bit of an afterthought in some ways. However, this year, it feels like the Pac-12 is as strong and as deep as it's ever been. Six teams ranked in the top 18. You've been in the league a while now. What, what can you say about the depth of the league and the quality of an opponent that you get on a week-to-week -week basis? Well, I think you hit it right on the head. We're as, we're as good as we've been in many, many years. Now, we've only been in the league 11 years, but but uh, I think that there's uh, definitely six teams, as you mentioned, that are, are playing really good football and uh, very deserving to be in the top uh, 20. And so I just think it's a situation where it's competitive uh, in this league and, and it works to our disadvantage, I guess, with the CFP because we cannibalize each other a little bit. And, and uh, that's exactly what happened Saturday night or Friday night. And uh, I think that's uh, one of the main reasons we've been kept out of the CFP for so long is, is the balance of the league and, the, and just the quality that we have uh, throughout uh, 1 through 12. Kyle, your program is built. You went to the Pac-12 championship game a couple of times, then broke through and won it. Went to the Rose Bowl. It was a seminal moment to arrive there last year. Now you get a chance to go back against Penn State. How would you describe what the opportunity is now to break through, follow the Rose Bowl trip, with potentially a Rose Bowl victory. Well, that would be awesome, uh, you know, obviously, and our guys are, are excited to be back in the game, first of all. Uh, it was a great game last year. 
came right down to the wire. Uh, Ohio State uh, played exceptionally well, particularly on offense, and and got the win. But uh, we're going back with with the uh, another opportunity to try to get a win. Uh, Penn State got a lot of respect for those guys. Coach Franklin's done a great job there. I've uh, already started watching the film. They play outstanding defense and and uh, just a really balanced, well coached football team. But but our guys will be excited uh, about the challenge and the opportunity. And and uh, you know we're gonna we're looking forward to the trip. Your team's a pleasure to watch every week. Look forward to seeing them in Pasadena against Penn State. Kyle, thanks for being with us. Appreciate you having me on, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.